What is up, friend? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you my August setup um, in my planner system. So if that's something you'd like to see, then just keep watching. Okay, so I recently said on my Instagram, if you don't follow me there, I have a whole Instagram page dedicated to planners. Um, so go check me out there. Um, but I, if you follow me, you saw that I simplified my rings and I got a request to show what I simplified um, because some of you were also are also experiencing what I was experiencing where um, you're just feeling kind of overwhelmed by your system and you just want to like simplify things. So I figured I will show you what I've changed, um, what I've done to kind of streamline my process. Um, so let's jump right into it. So first of all, I got this and we'll go into this as well, but this is just a day designer I got off Amazon. Um, you can find them at Target, my Target, and the ones nearby did not have um, any of the ones that I wanted. So, and I figure they'll be restocked soon with back to school um, in the upcoming year, but I wanted it now. So I ordered one off of Amazon and it's just a weekly um, and I think this was $12, $15 on sale on Amazon, uh, one of the days. And like I said, it's just the weekly. So you get your monthly and then a weekly spread. Um, and if you, I don't know if I said it in my last video, but I took out the weeklies from my rings because I was finding that, um, I was finding that I was doing a lot of flipping back and forth and I was either in my dailies and ignore my weeklies um, because I, you know, like it was just too much flipping back and forth or I'd be in my weekly and ignore my dailies and then forget things because there's things on my dailies that are not on my weekly. So that was kind of frustrating to me and I ended up taking out my weeklies from my rings because I found that I like having my dailies in my ring planner that's one way I simplify my planner. So let's first get into the rings and then I'll tell, I'll explain how I use the day designer in conjunction with my rings. My day designer is my on the go planner. So it gets thrown in my purse um, because it's compact and just easy to carry around. This does not close, the clasp does not close. Um, so it's kind of difficult to carry in my purse. Um, and right now I'm not in a very large purse. so. Here I just have some of the, um, what is it? The Hay Planner Girl and Paper Test Designs Collab little, um, I don't know what you call these, little cards, I guess. There's like a receipt, there's um, trigger lists, there's a recipe one. So they just look really cute and vintage. Um, travel checklist, home life checklist. And it's really cute the way they are set up. Then I have my Peanuts Planner Co. Just daily, weekly, monthly planning to-do list. Um, so my sections, what I did is I rearranged things, took out my weekly, still have a year overview. I like having that. I have my inbox. So it's just SM plans, inbox inserts. I didn't print them well, so they're not back in uh, front and back. Um, but I just have that for a brain dump. Um, I did have mommy plans, the GTD um inserts and i found i wasn't using them so i just have a brain dump that's one way that i streamlined it was just a place to get things out of my head that i don't need to act upon right away um then my second section i guess so that's not really a section it's just the front my first section is my habits so i have my cleaning insert which you guys have seen um i am back on track with my cleaning routine, my adulting tasks, recurring things that happen on a monthly, quarterly basis, um, and that's it. And I took out my workouts, my weight tracker, things like that, my cycle tracker out of this section because you'll see later. Um, so that's my first section is just habits. So that's adulting stuff. Um, and then my second section is my calendar section. So this is another way that I've streamlined. I have my monthly, my, and my daily inserts in this section, um, because that was another thing that I was flipping back and forth a lot. Um, my monthly was, I think like in the very front. Um, so I just wanted to condense all of my days, my monthlies and my dailies. So I have July and August in here and I am using the, um, so I'm still in my Peanuts Planner Co. for my monthlies. 
printed that in the beginning of the year. They're just a freebie. And then recently printed these out and I'm absolutely loving it. So this is everything that I've pretty much been tracking in different journals, um, but on t one insert. So um, it's a lot of like health and wellness and then work and then a timeline schedule, a space for to do's. And I've really been enjoying this and then a space for notes. So. I like to track, I was tracking these things in a separate wellness journal um, from that you get in the Fit Club, um, and I love that one, but I, like I said, wanted to um, just condense and um, I was feeling overwhelmed, so I wanted it in one spot. Um, this is from Marcia Bermucci, and I love this. So you get a water tracker, weather tracker, to-do list, reminder, um, timeline, schedule your meal prep. So I always track what I eat because I do um, like more of intuitive eating. Um, so that's what I track. And then my workout, what I'm reading or what I listen to, my productivity levels, my energy levels, work, and then just notes. So that's what I've been doing and I've absolutely been loving it. Um, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it filled out. So this is what they've been looking like. Absolutely love it. Um, they're really, really helpful to me. So um, when I write my to-do list, I go and check my cleaning inserts, my adulting, reoccurring tasks inserts, write it on here. Um, so I know what household things I need to do for the day. Um, and then I write down my regular kind of daily habits, um, like things for the Fit Club, like checking in there, in my accountability group, my workouts. Um, and then, so that I have all the way to August. Um, and then this is a new section. So I have a whole self-care section um, along, followed by my home management. Um, so, this I was tracking partly in my habits section, but I decided there are a lot of things for my self-care that I wanted to put all together and have in one spot um, so I could go in and just see it all in one glance and not be flipping to my dailies all the time or whatever. Um, so um, at the end of the day, I will fill this out or in the morning for the previous day. Um, I show this on my Instagram. I have a reel on it, but um, this was inspired by L Plan. So I have a um, symbol key here, and I'm tracking what I do every single day. I just started in July. Not really using this. And then I just have a list of the three things that I am tracking for my self care. So mindset, health, and productivity, which is um, it's kind of my niche. So if you follow my personal Instagram account, it's all of these things. So from my mindset, uh, that's kind of self-explanatory, but for my health, it's like my workouts, my uh, nutrition, um, stretching, sunshine, water, things like that. Um, mindset's like personal growth, journaling, um, talking with a friend, um, and then productivity is like if I've done my top three to-dos, my morning routine, my evening routine, my brain dump, things like that, things to help me stay productive and making progress. Um, so that's what I'm tra tracking on here. And then, so this is from the L Plans and Paper Test Designs collab. Um, this is how I'm using it. So the month at a glance, I'm tracking my workouts. On the back I have, um, so I track if I logged my weight, my food, and if I checked into my accountability group, the Fit Club. Um, and then on the weekly insert, I didn't finish last week, but on the weekly, up here I'm tracking my energy levels, how productive I've been, just kind of notes of the day, and then my meals, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not really um, using this side. Then on the back, I'm tracking my sleep, so how many hours I've slept, um, and then any notes. So that's how I'm using the weeklies, and this is the bulk of my self-care section. And then I just moved my Peanuts Planner Co. trackers for my workout and my weight to here, and then my daily habits, um, just the things I do every single day, tracking it there, my cycle tracker. This is new. I haven't put it in my uh, Etsy shop yet, or I might put it up as a freebie. Um, but it's the Rory Gilmore reading list. So this is a part of my self care and I want to go through it. It's the complete list of all books she's read in this series. And I'm really excited. My sister and I are going to do that together. Um, so that's my self care section and I love it. So my daily is my catch all. 
and when I write down my meals and things like that, my workouts, I will transfer it at the end of the day or in the morning the next day into my self-care section um, so it's all in one spot. So I've really, really been enjoying that. Um, just to try fold, fold out from Cat's Espresso Co. And then the home management planner, this is from that Paper Test Designs and Hay Planner Girl collab. So it's my meal plan for the family. It's, um, so I've got, I still haven't filled this out yet, but doctor's information, personal information for each of the kids. Uh, what else? Um, home stuff, cleaning, things like that. And then home maintenance log, inventory log, uh, let's see, vehicle information, checklist. I still haven't filled this out, but um, it's kind of like, this is just extra, but I find myself occasionally having to reach for this information and look elsewhere. So I'm going to fill this out so I always have it. Um, and then just notes and lists and projects. And then I do have, um, yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so then I have my gratitude log. I've shown you guys this before, but I use Planner Room Shop for this. I have a monthly one where I write a highlight of the day. And then I have a weekly one, which I love, which I write down my self-affirmation meditations, as well as two things that I'm grateful for. So that's part of my morning routine. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I just have a finance section. It's really, really small. This was from Peanuts Planner and Co. And then I just have Mommy Plans um, envelope system insert. And then just my list section. This is just reference. And then that's it. So the main thing was is I took out my weeklies. And because that was kind of overwhelming me, I condensed, took a lot of... Um, took a lot of inserts out. There's like a whole stack that I took out. It's just extra notes pages and things like that. Things that I was not using. And the main things that I like to track is what I do in the home and my self care um, and things for my accountability group that I run. So on my dailies, it's helping me track all of that. And then to help me with my self care and stay consistent, um, I have a whole section on that. So I'm really, really loving this. Um, so these are the three pens that I've been using. I like the U brands and then the Energel Cleaner and then my Tombow. Um, but the way I'm using these two is I've got my weeklies open on my countertop in, uh, right next to my rings planner. And this just helps me see everything at a glance and I'm not having to flip back and forth. And this is just super, super simple and streamlined. So um, on the left hand side, I will have my appointments, all day events. On the right, I have my to do's and typically I'll write my to do's in um, after the fact and after I've completed them. Um, but I will write down appointments and things that I need to remember and attend so that when it's on my counter, I can see my whole week at a glance as well as my day. Um, and I can still write down my meals without having to flip back and forth. I can still write down my workouts without having to flip back and forth and my work and to do's and my um, timeline. So that's how I've kind of simplified things. It's just less flipping. Um, it's still the same amount of information. It's just I've took, taken some of it out of my planner, condensed things a little bit, kind of made it a little more streamlined, and then... Um, with my sections and things like that and then to help me with not forget anything for the week as well as the day i've just got these two things so this helps me when i'm on the go because i don't need this entire thing when i'm on the go this helps me when i'm on the go i can write down grocery lists um i know what appointments i have and things like that like i have information that i need for on the go to schedule appointments and things like that um and this is just to help me at home um, and in life in general. So that's kind of it. Um, I hope this helped you and gave you a little better insight as to like getting rid of that overwhelm when it comes to planning. Don't be afraid to try other systems. Um, I was like, man, should I really buy this? I don't need another one, blah, 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 blah. But then it's like, you know, it's actually helping me be more productive. So I'm really glad I invested in this. Um, and 
you know, yeah, don't be afraid to try new inserts because you got to do what you got to do to help you stay productive. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see my future videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.